Learning objectives include enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. This is another serological technique used for microbial identification. Uh, some interactions, as we have seen previously, that precipitation uh, and agglutination tests, they were visible to the eyes. We could see them um, with our naked eye. But there are interactions, antigen-antibody interactions, that are not visible to the eye. So we must devise some other means uh, for looking at them. ELISA is one of them. It, this interaction is not visible to the eye, so in order to make it visible, we change, we modify the system a little bit. Uh, what we call probes. Probes are basically our uh, extensions into the system so that they tell us whether antigen-antibody interaction has occurred or not. So those probes could be enzymes or could be radioisotopes. These enzymes and radioisotopes or even fluorescent dyes, they are combined or conjugated with the antibodies and then used for detection of the either the antigen or the antibodies in ELISA. In serological testing, as I mentioned earlier, that probes such as enzymes or radioisotopes could be tagged to antibody molecules. As you can see here, this is an antibody molecule. And this small thing, which is kind of sparkling here, is either could be enzyme or it could be a radioisotope tagged to the antibodies. And here is the antigen. So if this tagged antibody, which is specific to this antigen, binds to the antigen, we can detect the presence of this radioisotope or the presence of the enzyme. Of course, if this is the enzyme, we have to give this enzyme a substrate. And we choose a substrate that when it interacts with the enzymes, it produces a colored compound. And by the look of that color, we can tell that this antibody has bound to this antigen specifically. Now, this is a typical structure of an antibody. And remember that antibody molecule is a protein. And all proteins they are very good antigens. So using this antibody, we can produce another antibody against this antibody. So that antibody would be called as anti-antibody. Just keep that in mind because that would be used in ELISA. For example, here, this is an antibody that we want to detect in a serum sample from the patient. Say, for example, a patient is suffering from a virus or viral disease, hepatitis C, or let's say hepatitis, we would take hepatitis antigen and coat the ELISA plate. ELISA plate basically is a plastic plate which has charges, negative or positive charges on them, and we can create opposite charges on the antigen, like in this case hepatitis antigen, and through those charges or charge interaction, ionic interactions, these antigens bind or they get attached to this plastic plate. And when we put the serum from the patient, that we suspect that it, it has antibodies against the uh, hepatitis, we can detect the presence of antibodies uh, by allowing this antigen-antibody antigen interaction. But because this antibody has come from the serum, we don't know whether the serum had this antibody or not. In order to know whether this antibody is there, we would have to use another antibody which we have labeled with some radioisotope or enzyme or fluorescent dye. Okay, here you could see, as I mentioned earlier, that this antibody, because it is a protein in nature, it is a very good antigen as well. So we have raised antibodies against this part of the antibodies already in the lab, and this, this antibody, which has been labeled and raised against this portion of the antibodies. Now, if this antibody is there, when we add this antibody, which is anti-antibody and is already conjugated, um, we can, at the end, we can give the, this enzyme a substrate and develop a color. And the presence of that color would indicate that this antibody was there. If, for example, this antibody is not there, 
if we add this antibody anti antibody it would not bind to the antigen okay so and then when we wash this plate this antibody would be washed out it would not be left out in the um in the plate in the in the well of the plate and then when you give the substrate there would be no color and uh, the absence of color tells us that there was no such antibodies that we were looking for elisa could also be used for detection of antigens in the previous slide as as you saw that we detected antibodies with elisa antigens could also be used could also be uh, identified by elisa we have to modify the elisa system as you can see here the antibody has been coated on the plate this is a specific antibody which would capture or bind a specific antigen that we are looking for in the patient serum or in the patient body or secretions now this antigen and antibody reaction has occurred or not we would test this by putting another antibody which is also specific to the same antigen here now when if this antigen has been captured by this antibody which was coated on the plate and then we put another antibody that would bind to this antigen again so this typically is a kind of kind of sandwich i must tell you that the technique is this technique is also known as sandwich elisa because the antigen is kind of sandwiched between the two antibodies and now this presence of this antibody is detected by another anti antibody which has been against this portion of the antibody and this antibody we already labeled with a, with an enzyme for example here this is an enzyme we put the substrate at the end and this would give us a color and that color indicates that the antigen this antigen was there in the system this is a plate actual plate showing you know these colors and as you can see these wells all these wells they are they're blue in nature and all these they they don't show any color so that means they are negative with, with respect to this test and these samples are positive so this is how although antigen antibody interaction is there but we cannot see it until we modify the system with some probes and those probes could be radioisotope could be enzymes and let me tell you that elisa because it uses enzymes or radioisotopes it's it's very very sensitive so what it means by sensitivity or sensitive means that it can detect a very low level of either the antigen or the antibodies agglutination and precipitation interactions need a lot of antigen antibodies but on the other side elisa is very sensitive it can detect minute quantities of uh, antibodies specific antibodies or specific antigens let's watch a video that would make things more clear for you many simple rapid diagnostic tests detect specific antigens in biological samples by using an enzyme immunoassay the purpose of this animation is to explain how a prototype example of this assay works the enzyme immunoassay can be done in a multi-well microtiter plate or on any other solid adherent surface i will use the microtiter plate in this example so let's take a closer look at one of the wells of this plate to see what happens during the performance of the assay the plate is prepared to perform a particular assay by coating the wells with antibodies that bind to the antigen of interest then the wells are filled with the clinical sample which could be a sample of serum respiratory secretion cerebrospinal fluid urine or some other body fluid if the antigen is present in the sample it will bind to the fixed antibodies in this example the green shape represents the antigen of interest and the other shapes represent other molecules in the sample However, note that only the specific or green antigen and none of the irrelevant molecules bind to the antibody coated wells. This accounts for the specificity of the test. The wells are then washed out to remove any of the unattached molecules, leaving the antigen of interest stuck to the wells. Now, a second antibody directed against another epitope on the target antigen is added. These antibodies are conjugated covalently to an enzyme indicated by the yellow circle at the FC portion of the second antibody. they bind to the antigen that's fixed in the well and this provides a second level of specificity for the assay the wells are washed again to remove any unbound antibodies and in the final step a solution of a colorigenic enzyme substrate is added the interaction of the substrate and the captured enzyme generates visible color in the solution at the macroscopic level 
the development of color indicates those samples that have second antibody bound to the target antigen in the wells. So in summary, ELISA uh, is another serological technique that could be used for microbial identification, either the antigen or the antibody.